Turning now to Mardi Gras. Yeah. Today is Fat Tuesday in New Orleans, where the crowds and celebrations have returned as COVID concerns ease. The city's traditions and culinary scene continue to evolve and reflect its many, many cultures. And for our series, The Dish, Jamie Wax discovered the growing influence and popularity of Vietnamese flavors in classic Louisiana food. You won't find what is arguably the most sought after carnival pastry in New Orleans in the city's bustling tourist areas. You'll find it here, tucked away between strip malls and trailer parks along a highway in New Orleans East. On a dreary Saturday morning. You came in from two and a half hours away in Lafayette. Yes. To get this king cake on a Saturday morning. To get this king cake on a Saturday morning. More than 100 people lined up to buy king cake at this unassuming Vietnamese bakery. Thank you, sir. Have a nice day. Dong Phong has become a Crescent City institution in past years. King Cake isn't the only attraction. Here we have a bunch of different, I was going to say po' boys. Yeah. It kind of As we learn from Nini Nini Nguyen, a former Top Chef competitor and respected chef who is from New Orleans, she showed us some of her favorite menu items. Bang mi's with our Vietnamese French bread, which is very similar to the po boy bread here. And you can even see how crackling it looks. Is the Vietnamese baking tradition going back to traditional French as well? Yeah, I mean, when the French came, they brought us bread. They bought us puff pastry. So this is pate so, which sounds really French already. They caramelize and they braise pork and onions and black pepper, and then they stuff that into these flaky puff pastries. That's one of the best things I've ever eaten. Dong Phong is just one example of how the local Vietnamese community is influencing Louisiana cuisine starting with the ingredients. Veggie Co-op, a small farm run by Vietnamese immigrants, initially catered just to local residents. They are starting to grow more Vietnamese-centric ingredients for restaurants here. Some of that produce, like greens and herbs, are on the menu at Margie's Grill. This is not a Vietnamese-owned restaurant, but it is sort of a fusion restaurant of Southeast Asian and Southern traditional yes. cooking. What really drew such a large population of Vietnamese immigrants to Louisiana specifically? I could only speak for really my family. The seafood industry is huge here. Vietnam is such a coastal country. That is like the work that people knew how to do. My grandmother shucked oysters. My uncles made crab traps. My dad and his family deep sea fish. My grandmother fled in the 50s when the French left because of your persecution being affiliated with the French. Could you have imagined that Vietnamese culture and cuisine would have had such a big impact on this city where you grew up? No. Margie's popularity is a prime example of that impact. So what they usually do is they get some kind of cut of meat, they barbecue it, and they'll serve it with lettuce and a bunch of herb. And then this is just some grilled shrimp. I don't know how to eat pretty on camera. This is not meant to eat pretty, but it is eating delicious. As it began to drizzle, we made one last stop at Ton Din on New Orleans' West Bank for a traditional dish perfect for the weather, a bowl of pho, a soup named for its flat rice noodles. This is our national dish, just a delicate but very complex broth with noodles and thinly sliced beef. You want something really flavorful that's stewed, that's cooked down. And the French taught us how to like make a like really nice clear stock, which is what you always want in a good pho. Pho shops are so popular here. You see so many different people coming um, and enjoying pho. And it's, I think, the busiest on Sunday mornings when everyone's hungover. Everyone in New Orleans kind of knows, like if you're not feeling well, a bowl of pho is yeah. just like, it's, it's the cure all. <laughs> But the hangover can wait until tomorrow. For today, it's Mardi Gras here in a city that's added yet another delicious culture to its rich recipe. For CBS News, Jamie Wax, New Orleans. So I love everything about that story. I thought I it was too. pho. Now I've learned it's pho. Uh, and if you're in New Orleans <laughs> eating it, you can have a barrel of fun and a bowl of pho. Ah, I see what you did there. I love it when cultures collide and we have these hybrid I restaurants. Do too.
Listen, what we know about New Orleans after looking at that certainly is it's so much more than beignets, although the beignets are very, very tasty. You love you some beignets. I, I really do. You just said beignets about ten times. <laughs> you know, I really every do. affiliate across the whole country heard about I beignets. I really do. <laughs> if I lived in New Orleans, I'd weigh 300 pounds of food. They're so good.